Jumping straight into tip number one, when typing with Gboard, you can delete a bunch of words or all the words in the text field at a go. This can be done by simply swiping left on the delete button, so instead of long pressing on a word and then choosing to select all, swiping left on the delete button should be the fastest way possible. Still on the Gboard, did you know you can have a numpad on your keyboard? So by default, tapping on the symbols key takes you to the numbers and symbols in the keyboard. So to have a dedicated numpad, which makes it easy to enter numbers, tap on the number key next to the spacebar. This will display the numbers in the numpad form. With that, tapping on this key will display the numpad and of course, you can switch back to the default setting. Again, on the Gboard, you can uncover several symbols beneath the symbols on the keyboard. Same for the letters too. So by holding and dragging on the symbols and numbers key at the left corner of the keyboard, it will take you to the symbols and when you point it to any symbol, it will show you other symbols beneath the specific key. You only have to hold, drag and point without releasing. Likewise, hold and drag on the letters key, point it to any letter and you will discover other symbols. Personally, this tip becomes useful whenever I want to enter my country's currency symbol. I wouldn't have to switch to the symbols, I only have to hold and drag the symbols key, point it to the dollar sign which will then bring up other currency signs and then when I release it, automatically comes back to the letters without me tapping to switch. You can set yourself as a pro Android user by unlocking a secret settings page on your Android smartphone. And yes, it is for a very good reason Android has kept this hidden because you really have to know what you are doing in that setting since making any wrong toggle can mess up your Android smartphone usage. The hidden menu is called Developer Options and to let the cat out of the bag, you must go into your device settings, About Device or on some devices it is labeled My Phone. Once you tap that, you should find Build Number. With that located, Tap on it 7 times and once you do that, you enter developer mode. So now go back into your system settings and you should see a new developer options added. Feel free to go through and see whether you can make some tweaks. I'll make a dedicated video on some useful settings in developer options so consider subscribing to the channel for that. Moving on, if you didn't know or haven't heard by now, then you can have two WhatsApp accounts and a single mobile device. And no, I didn't mean installing clone apps to make this happen, you can have this in the original WhatsApp application. To do this, just go to the settings in your WhatsApp application, right next to the QR code symbol on your profile, tap on the down arrow, you will see add account under the current account. So from there, go through the process. Still in WhatsApp, also you might have known this already, but if you haven't, you can start a new chat with an unknown number within the WhatsApp application without saving it. Just copy the number from wherever it was, paste it within your personal chat, tap on the number and choose to chat with the number. As simple as that. I recently had a message from a friend saying images he receives on WhatsApp does not appear in his gallery. I'm sure this shouldn't happen by default. But if you also have the same issue, then here is how to fix it. Open your WhatsApp settings and then go to chats. Make sure media visibility is toggled on. This way, all new media will show up in your gallery. If you want to enjoy faster phone unlocking, that is, if you use fingerprint unlock, try registering one particular finger you use mostly to unlock your phone two or three times, or even more. This way, the sensor registers all sides of your finger and this allows for faster unlocking with the slightest of touch on the fingerprint sensor. You can try this for a finger on both hands, this is a real time saver. If you've got dual sim setup on your device, you can set them up to switch between themselves automatically based on their performance. To do this, go to your sim and network settings, you should find intelligent network optimization, here you will find smart dual sim, tap on it and toggle on the option. So whenever you are using data on your SIM card and the active SIM is slowing down, it will automatically switch to the other SIM. Mind you, if both SIM cards have the same carriers, 
let's say you have two Vodafone SIM cards in your phone, then this feature won't work for you. I do hope you liked the video, leave a comment and let me know some simple tips and tricks you use daily on your mobile device. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this, like and share the video as well and as always, thank you for watching.